for me in this game, it's someone that you know we mentioned here and someone who I put on the graphic, o- Olu Fashnow. I would imagine that he's going to play on the right side this week just because that's where he's practiced all week. And I thought he looked really good in the Jets' first preseason game uh, against Washington at left tackle. 14 pass pro snaps, no pressures allowed in practice this week. And in this joint practice, we saw a good rep from him on the right side. He's been just as solid there. And I think that has to make you feel confident about your your first round draft selection. And that's who I'm keeping a close eye on, because unlike the Giants, Jets won't be playing their starters in this one. Yeah, definitely keeping an eye on him and definitely feeling, you know, positive over the way that he's played. Uh, looking at the PFF grade, his pass blocking grade was the top on the team last week across 25 snaps, like you said, 12 total pass blocking snaps. But at left tackle, let's see what he does at right tackle as well. And I, I think that it's awesome to see him get out of the gates hot and like already start playing well because we've seen so many times rookie offensive tackles have such a steep learning curve. And even if they are highly touted prospects, like you know, like Olu coming out of Penn State, everyone said this guy is an elite pass protector. He should be day one really good in that regard. We've heard that before, though. I mean, believe me, I've heard it with Evan Neal. And sometimes these players don't pan out or it just takes them a long time to pan out. Even Andrew Thomas really wasn't a great player until year three of his career, I would argue. So for Olu to kind of just step into the situation where he doesn't need to be an immediately great player, the pressure isn't on him because of the way that the Jets have set up this roster with Tyron Smith and Morgan Moses. The fact that he doesn't need to be excellent from day one, I think is reassuring, but also the fact that he's been excellent from day one is equally reassuring. So I think you have to be really happy about everything that you've seen from the Jets first round pick. Absolutely. Um, On the defensive side of the ball for me, things that I'm really looking for, again, sticking with a a first rounder here, Will McDonald, um, especially with no Hassan Reddick in camp, he's going to have a microscope on him. Uh, I I thought there were a couple okay moments. He did get hit with the uh, roughing the passer in the first game against Washington. So for me, kind of want to see his follow up performance here in game two. Um, and, and see if he does end up maybe earning a, a spot with that starting defense. The Jets rotate their defensive line so much, so even if he's not technically a, a starter, he'll have an increased role than what he did a year ago, but kind of just seeing how far along Will McDonald is. Uh, and We have a spin move from practice today that we could show off. I'll pull up while you're, while you're talking here. Yeah, I think that's becoming his new favorite move. And even on that uh, roughing the passer, really nice spin move that he put on the uh, offensive lineman. And even though I said, you know, Panthers looking like a better team, uh, looking like in practice they've been performing well, I did say those things. Their offensive line is still obviously a major point of concern, and it's a very bad unit. So you do hope to see Will McDonald be productive as a pass rusher during these practices, and hopefully in this upcoming preseason game, he continues that. He's going up against a bad offensive line. I want to see him get in the face of the quarterback and make some plays. I think that's going to be really important to see. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I do think it's uh, it would be really nice to uh, see him stand out a, a little bit against – Again, frankly, some some lesser competition. I, I, I think, you know, if he's going up against twos and on a team that's not expected to be very good this year, well, he's got to stand out in in that opportunity here. So I'm keeping a close eye on the first round picks. Aaron Rodgers said um, in a comment this week as well, by the way, that uh, he doesn't see the value of playing in the in the preseason um, and instead talked about how it could be an opportunity for uh, the younger guys who are fighting for roster spots. So even in next week, which should be a really big week for us here on Big Apple Blitz as the Jets and Giants get set to play. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll see the Aaron Rodgers at least going up against the, the Giants and maybe not a whole lot of Jets starters either going up against the Giants. Yeah, that's unfortunate because I would have loved to see the continuation of the beef between Rodgers and the Giants defense as we saw in last preseason that was a pretty fun moment obviously Isaiah Simmons was involved with that he's still with the team Jihad Ward was involved he's no longer with the team but I would have liked to see them get a little scrappy once again but probably during those joint practices because I believe the Jets and Giants are going to have at least one joint practice before that game Uh, correct me if I'm wrong but I think they're going to have some joint practices and then the game and obviously like you said that's going to be a lot of fun a lot of storylines there 
And that's the final preseason game. And then after that, we're talking cuts. So once we get into that one, we are really trying to figure out who is going where on this depth chart and on this final roster. So these next two preseason games, very crucial for both teams. And it should be a lot of fun, especially here on the channel.